Java Server Pages JSP In previous lecture, we have discussed servlet and the basic concept of servlet and how it works as a ser server client architecture. JSP is a advanced version of servlet or you can say it is a advanced version of servlet technology. Now introduction of JSP. Uh, JSP which stands for Java Server Pages is a technology used for creating dynamic web pages in Java. It is a server-side programming language that allows developers to embed Java code within HTML pages. In previous lecture, uh, we have discussed uh, servlet in which HTML is embedded into the Java code. But here, Java code is embedded within a HTML page, making it easier to generate dynamic content and interact with Java databases and other server-side components. JSP files contain a combination of HTML, XML and Java code allowing developer to seamlessly integrate dynamic content and logics into their web pages. The Java code embedded within JSP files is executed on the server. The resulting HTML is sent back to the server like a client browser JSP features JSP provide a variety of features that simplify web development such as scripting elements JSP supports different scripting elements including scriptlets expressions and declarations Scriptlets allow developer to embed Java code directly into the HTML page. Expressions are used to evaluate and display the results of Java expressions and declarations. Allow the creation of variable and methods. Second one is standard tag libraries. Uh, we can also say it uh, JSTLs. JSP provides a set of tags known as a JSTLs which offers commonly used functionality such as looping, conditional, database access and internationalization. These tags enhance code reusability means you can also you can reuse your code and promote a more modular approach to web development java bean integrations jsp seamlessly integrates with java beans which are reusable java components that encapsulate data and methods by using java beans within jsp develop, developer can easily manage complex data structure and perform operation on them session management jsp allows developers to manage user sessions 
enabling the storage and retrieval of user specific data across multiple requests this feature is particularly useful for creating personalized web applications and maintaining user states now easy integrations with java technologies jsp integrates well with other java technologies such as servlets as we have discussed in the previous lectures jdbc java database connectivity in which uh, we can uh, connect connect with the database or we can retrieve the data from the database or insert the data into the database java service faces this integration enable the creation of robust scalable and enterprise level applications overall jsp provide a powerful and flexible environment for building dynamic web page in java it combines the strength of java robustness and flexibility with the simplicity and familiarity of html making it popular choice of web development now here is a, a difference between servlet and jsp first purpose why jsp is more popular than servlet servlet are java classes that handles request and response in the web applications as we have discussed earlier they are primarily responsible for processing data making decisions and generating dynamic content in a java centric way servlet are low level components and provide more control over the response generation process on the other hand jsp is a templating technology that allow you to embed java code within html page jsp is mainly used for creating dynamic web pages with a focus on the presentation layer it provides a way to separate business logic typically handled by the servlet from the presentation layer means servlet handles the business logic means all logic is uh, is in servlet and what jsp is doing it's all it works on presentation layer development servlet developing servlet often involves writing java code that handles http request and these requests come from the client and response to the client this code can become complex and may require a good understanding of the servlet apis because all front end or back end code involved in a one file in jsp pages resemble html with embedded java code jsp simplifies the development of dynamic web pages by allowing developers to mix java code with html making it more accessible for des web designer and front end developer means here html code in a different file or managed by the different programmer and a java code can be managed by the java programmer structure 
servlet are typically organized into a controller layer in a web application architecture they handle the request processing and can communicate with other part of the application like a database or other java classes but in jsp pages are part of the view layer only in the web applications they are used to generate the html that is sent to the client browser jsp can include servlet java beans or custom tag to encapsulate complex logic different code separations servlet don't enforce to restrict separation between presentation and business logic developer need to be disciplined in separating these concerns means you can uh, write presentation logic and business logic in a single file but jsp and courage the separations of concern by providing a clear way to embedded dynamic content means a java code within static html template this help maintain a cleaner and more organized code base maintenance and collaborations in servlet maintenance of servlet based application can be more challenging due to the mixing of code for request handling and presentation collaboration between developer and web designers may require more coordinations but in jsp can make it easier to collaborate between developer and web designer develop web designer can work on the html and layouts aspect of jsp page while java developers can handle the dynamic content as we have discussed in the previous